Laravel has its own simple yet powerful templating engine called Laravel Blade, which enables you to write server rendered HTML and PHP in a very readable format. But when you need to add a little bit more interactivity into your page, that's where Livewire comes in to supercharge Blade. And today we're talking about Livewire Volt, which is a functional way to write that interactivity, that supercharged power that you can give your Blade templates. Now, I do want to know at the time of this recording, Livewire V4 is in beta, which does change some things. And I do want to walk you through what that looks like. In a nutshell, Livewire V4, once it's stable, will replace Livewire Volt specifically just for the class-based Volt components. So Livewire 4 will give you the option out of the box without having to use Livewire Volt to enable single file components specifically if you want to use the class-based structure. And that just means it solidifies Livewire Volt as the functional API to write your Livewire functionality in your blade templating engine. So that's what we're going to spend some time in today. What does the functional API look like within Livewire Vault? Now, last but not least, before we jump into the code, I do want to say that with anything Livewire related, that interactivity or functionality that you might need for your Blade templates, it's best to think, let's do Blade first and then add Volt. So a lot of the demos I'm going to show you is how you would supercharge Laravel Blade to get the functionality that you might need. When it comes to adding Livewire Volt components to your application, there's three ways to do it. First, you can embed your components. So this is what you might think of when it comes to anything Livewire related, whether you're using a traditional uh, class-based structure that has separate components, a class.php file for your Livewire, and then a view, you would still enable this Livewire colon and then your component name. And this works the same way within Volt as well. Next, you have full page components. If all of the component, all of the view file that you have within Livewire Vault needs to just be self-contained. And so you can point a route specifically to a component. And then last but not least, this is where this blade directive of at Volt comes in. It's called anonymous components for when you want to take a blade file and let's say you really only need to add a smidge of interactivity, maybe a search bar in your components. Well, anonymous components let you change your Laravel blade template that you already have set up and add Livewire Vault without doing anything else. So when it comes time to supercharging your blade, taking what you already have within a blade structure and adding some functionality on top of it, this is what that might look like. In a typical blade component, you might have a post search. I have a specific form that is pushing an action, a git action to a specific route within a controller. And so whenever I uh, type within that search uh, input and I hit that search button, Button, then we're hitting that controller and getting the return back. Again, all this is Laravel bleed, but what happens if we need this to be a little bit more interactive, if you will? Volt is just a single page way to write functional APIs for Livewire. So we're going to say that this is a Livewire colon and then the post search. And so what this is doing is saying that it's looking for the Livewire component. So in your Livewire directory by default, and that's what this is post dash search dot blade dot PHP. So still blade. And if we were to take a look over here in the right, we see Livewire post dash search. So this is a Livewire component, but it's Volt, which is single file and functional API. Now, when I say functional API, what I mean is instead of writing all of your logic in a class based structure, Volt uh, exports these particular functions, uh, something like computed or state. And we'll see some more as we go throughout this video. But each one of these then lends itself to a 
a very clean looking functional API, where instead of declaring a public function of state in a specific class within my LiveWire component, I just can use this function and write it maybe in a little bit more uh, terse or concise way. We're setting the state in the URL. So that way, anytime we type into this search input, it is model living itself it is syncing itself to that specific search parameter well that state of search then inputs as the url and then we just collect all the posts based off of that search state and so while a blade component of course that form get requests on search would mean a full page reload something like this then the difference would be, well, if we searched within Livewire Volt using that Volt functionality, that functional API within that Volt component, well, then everything's rendered on the fly because we're returning uh, Ajax that is getting that HTML and rendering it on the page. So if I was to start typing, we start seeing these posts pop up. And while lines of code is not necessarily a good indicator on how good a specific package might be, it's nice to know that within 39 lines of code for your blade that has this form method, uh, if we just added a couple more, 20-ish more, 63 lines of code, all of a sudden we have that same functionality within a live compilation. Now the full page live wire volt components is taking everything that we just did within that search, but you're just directing that web route to that component itself rather than embedding it into the page. So this volt route of let's say uh, posts.create, then that just looks like this posts create, which is a live wire volt component, but we're just directing all of that traffic to this component itself rather than embedding it into a blade view. And again, that third style of using Livewire Volt, the functional API, you can use anonymous components. So let's say you had a particular blade component. Maybe it looked a little bit like this, but you wanted to add that little bit of functionality to it. So instead we can just say, I just want this particular piece to have functionality. And so the full component does not rerun when you enter this counter because it is all linked to this particular section of functionality interactivity. Now, again, within Livewire 4, some of this is going to be a little bit outdated when it comes to how you might use it because Livewire 4 will enable specific islands to say islands can have functionality and interactivity while the rest stays the same it's similar now where livewire volt really shines especially with the functional api is to have that concise uh, code while still having so much functionality and this is what i want to show for this particular demo having two components this post component count that we see up here and then uh, this components with this create post is technically two different components. Well, how does this look? In this index with create component, what I have is a full page live wire vault component. It uses pagination. Again, all these are functions that we're calling from live wire vault that we can then extract and use within this page, whether it's rules, state, setting a title, and then also having these computed functions as well as anything that might be called an action that might be able to be called within our wire model or wire click. And then we also have a live wire component that is nested within this full page component of live wire vault. So the neat part here is that you still have all the functionality of Livewire that you might be used to. And if you haven't used Livewire, well, here's what can happen when you have this interactivity that you are supercharging your Laravel blade templating engine with. Let's say the separate nesting component, uh, it has specific counts, maybe published posts, total posts, draft posts. Well, 
anytime we create a new component within this index with create full page volt components, we have this save action. At the end of that save action, I want to dispatch this event saying that, hey, this post was created. Well, in my nested component, I can listen for that event. So uh, when a post is created, and this can be just a blank function, because all we're doing is we want to re-render this information. We want to grab new information. So when post is created, this component is going to be re-rendered. So creating a new post, you can see here 30 posts, 25 published, five drafts. I'm going to say, uh, hey there, YouTube, how is your uh, advent of code doing? And we'll publish this immediately. And again, this is going to hit that save method that then sends an event. And because I have a live wire volts on dispatch event, being able to listen for that, it's going to update this information, even though it's a separate component. 31 posts. So we didn't necessarily refresh the page. We didn't uh, redirect to this page and all of it's grabbing again. We were just grabbing new data from each of those components via an Ajax request. And there you have it. You have the power and simplicity of Laravel Blade, where you have these server-rendered HTML files that you can write PHP. <laughs> you have all these fancy directives to be able to make this so much easier for you to write code like this. But when you do need that added little bit of uh, interactivity, then Livewire Volt comes right into play. Taking an index like this of looping through specific posts, and instead of having to have separate pages, separate controllers, handling the create, the store, the search method, you could have that all in one component. And in this functional API, it just makes things a lot easier and even more readable for you and your team to say, hey, I know exactly where the state lives. I know exactly where the rules live or what the layout is or the title because the functional API does make that look a lot nicer. So to recap, and if you want to continue watching more videos about Livewire Vault on this channel, we have a ton that you might see up here or in the description below. But everything that we talked about specific for the functional API is to make things look a little bit easier, maybe readable, maybe just a different way that you might like to write Livewire code. And while some of these things might change in the future, especially with Livewire 4 coming out, the functional API within Volt is still going to exist and be different than a single file component that's going to live within Livewire 4. So Volt is still fast, Volt still supercharges your Laravel blade so that you can make good code and you can ship as much as you want or as much as you can.